Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades and today we're going to go over the put broken wing butterfly spread. Now this is an advanced strategy where you take in take a traditional butterfly spread below the market and you skip one strike to create an unbalanced spread. And that's really what gives it its name, that broken wing side of the trade. It's not like a typical butterfly that has even or balanced wings. It's kind of leaning to one side or kind of skewing to one side. So here's exactly how you set up this strategy. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna buy one in the money put option and it's just gonna be slightly in the money from where the stock is trading right now. So a put option that's higher than where the stock is trading. Next, you're gonna go down to the next strike and you're gonna sell two of these slightly out of the money put options. Now you wanna target these out of the money put options just below where the stock is trading right now. That gives you the maximum amount of extrinsic value or time value in those options. After this, you're gonna skip over a strike. Usually you skip over the next strike that's available and you go to the next strike down and you buy one out of the money put option. This is what creates that broken wing side of the trade. With this trade, your risk is always limited to the width of the first strikes. In most cases, we do a dollar wide on that first strike, less the credit that you received. So if you took in a 30 cent, basically $30 credit, your maximum risk would be $70 on the trade. Profit wise, these things can profit and have varying degrees of profits because of the broken wing aspect of the trade and because of the peak that it has in that butterfly. So if the trade lands or if the stock lands at your short strikes at expiration, you could make the difference in the first strikes plus the credit that you receive. Now if the stock does end up rallying higher, and this is one of the good features about trading these strategies in an upward or bullish market, is that if the stock rallies higher and you received a credit for this trade, then all the options expire worthless and you still keep that credit. So most of the time we like to do these trades, having some sort of credit received on the trade gives us a little bit more of an edge. As far as volatility, an increase in implied volatility would have a negative impact on this strategy because we are net sellers of options. We're selling two options right out of the money, kind of that slightly out of the money area. And so we want to see implied volatility go down. This is why it's a strategy that you should use during high implied volatility markets. Time decay is gonna help this position again because we're net premium sellers with options. We want to see this thing decay. The quicker it decays, the faster your profit will materialize. And then as far as break even points, Basically what happens with these trades is that you take your skipped strike price less the credit received. So in this case, whatever that skipped strike price is that you jumped over in creating the strategy, we take that strike price and we subtract out the credit received. That gives us our new break even point. So let's go to our broker platform here on Thinkorswim and we're gonna create a put broken wing butterfly. In this case, we're gonna do it right now with SPY, which is currently trading at about 203.08. So it gives us a really good opportunity to sell something just out of the money. And right now we're gonna do just the March options, which have about 58 days to go in expiration. So again, what our strategy looks like is we're going to go here and first we're going to buy an in the money option that's just in the money and that's gonna be the 204s. So I'm gonna click there and buy the 204s. You can see that populates down below. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sell two of the 203 options which are just out of the money because the stock is trading at 20308. So these options are just out of the money and have a little bit of intrinsic value. So again, I wanna sell two of those options. So I'll just go down here to the 203s and sell two of those. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go down one strike, I wanna skip over the 202. So I bought the 204, sold the 203, I skip over the 202 and I buy the 201. So this gives us our broken wing side of the trade. So again, I wanna buy that 201 option and I buy that one down below. Now you can see this order actually goes in on most broker platforms as a buy order, but it comes up as a negative 31 cent credit. And that's ideally what we wanna see. That's actually exactly what we wanna see with this trade is giving ourselves a little bit of credit on the trade so that if the stock moves higher, we have no risk to the upside. So let's actually just analyze this trade here on our platform. 
and you can see and once we take out the trades that we're already in that this is the profit window here for this broken wing butterfly you can see that the stock is trading currently right at 203 here and that's right about where we sold our short strike so ideally we'd want the stock to close right at 203 at expiration now in case that doesn't happen if the stock does continue to move higher we still make our 31 cent credit that we took in originally on the trade so this leaves our our trade with no upside risk at all in fact we make money if the stock goes higher now in the case of the stock moving lower our break even point is down here around 201.70 remember we take the skipped strike price which is 202 and we subtract out of that the credit that we received which is 31 cents so that means we basically need SPY to trade anywhere above 107 I'm sorry 101 201.70 for us to make money on this trade again the most money is going to be made if the stock closes right at our short strikes so that's exactly how you set it up on your broker broker platform going through a great example with a spy broken wing butterfly one of the key takeaways that i want you guys to get away from this video is that when this is done again for an overall credit as we've shown you have no risk to the upside. So I ideally like to see a lot of my members and students that I coach make these trades by taking in a credit for sure. If you can't take in a credit, it might not be worth making the trade because this is a huge advantage when trading these spreads and still leaves you an opportunity to profit if the stock gets pinned at your short strikes. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed these video tutorials. If you have any comments or questions, please add them right below in the lesson page. And until next time, happy trading.